going to show you how to make apple puffs. For this recipe, you will need a roll of pastry dough, two tablespoons of sugar, a third a cup of raisins, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of grounded cloves, a teaspoon of lemon, an egg yolk, some cloves, and most importantly, three peeled Granny Smiths. Half of them cut up into pretty small pieces. As you see, it's very small. And the other half cut up into slightly bigger pieces, about like this. We're going to start by cooking the smaller chopped apples. So the reason I made two uh, different sized apples is because I would like half of them to be more mushy and then half of them to be like chunks. So this half we're going to let cook for like about a half an hour, covered on medium low heat with the lemon, stirring it occasionally. It's been about 25 minutes. And as you can see, the apple's starting to get really soft. Like when you go with a spoon, they actually smush. So now it's time to add the other apples, which will also take a little while to cook, along with the sugar and the spices. And we're going to let this sit also on pretty low temperature. Uh, for the temperature, my, my stove goes to number 10, and I put it like on 3, 4 about. So there we go, add it all, stir it all together, and then cover it again and stir every once in a while. After about 10 minutes, you can add the raisins. The reason we add these last is because they take less time to cook than the apples, and I that they don't get too mushy. Stir them in. So it's been about 10 minutes since I've added the raisins, and it looks pretty much done. As you can see, I told you about the length of, t of time it needs to cook, but to be honest, you really need to do it by sight. So basically, the first batch of apples has to be mushy, like compote. The second half has to be soft at the touch, and yeah. So now we have to let it cool until we can make the pastries. Now you're going to start by preheating the oven at about 190 degrees Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit. So what you're going to do is you're going to take kind of a square piece of dough. I'm using store-bought, but of course you could have used homemade. I'm just doing it out of laziness. Then you're going to put a little dough. Try and get a dough, it's not really dough, mixture, apple mixture. Try and get some of the liquid, some of the pieces, yeah, get it nice and even. Don't put too much or it'll make it impossible to shut. What you do is you take all four corners and bring them together. Make sure not to have your dough too thin or it'll make this impossible. You're going to kind of pinch it shut with your fingers, like that, and like that, and then to make sure it holds while it's in the oven, you take a long skinny clove, if you can find possibly, and you kind of stick it through to make it hold. You can even put two if you're not sure it's holding. I was able to make nine pastries. I still have a little apple mixture left, but it actually tastes good on its own, so you can eat it on your own. Now all you have to do is just put some egg yellow on top of the pastries. You can use a brush or, like me, use your hand and just spread a little on top. It'll give them a nice golden color once they've cooked. Now you can put them in the preheated oven for about 40 minutes until the dough gets crispy. These taste great warm with some vanilla ice cream. Just make sure not to forget to take the cloves off before eating them because they're more for decoration. And that's how you make apple puffs in Morgan's kitchen. Bon appétit!